Hey guys, today is the final episode of the Monster High Hunger Games Edition. I mean, Hunger Games, Monster High Edition, <laughs> Season 1, and I was able to add a Bone Hilda Spirit back to the household, which is good. I had it perfectly on time because it's time for Bone Hilda to make these ghouls some sub food. I so there's no cake. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're gonna have we're gonna have Bone Hilda cook up. You know what? We'll have Bone Hilda cook up. We'll have her bake something. We'll have her. There's the final two ghouls. They're gonna they need to have a good meal because it could be any either of their guy any of theirs last day alive ever. So. We're gonna have her make brownies. That'll be a nice little treat. That'll be a nice little treat for the ghouls. And she better hurry up because these ghouls are starving to death. Oh, <gasps> literally, they're literally starving to death. Like these ghouls, they need their they need their brownies ASAP. So let's fucking hope Bone Hilda gets this made up. But I'm glad to have Bone Hilda back. It's good to have her presence. And yes, she is a ghost, but. You know what? Better ghost than nothing. Better ghost than never, right? Oh my god, there's a fucking fire. Well, you know what? It's okay. Bone Hilda's already a ghost, so she she's already dead, so we don't have to worry about anything at all. But we're gonna put the brownies in You know what? We'll put the brownies in here because the ghouls haven't uh they, they love to chill in here because the TV's in there, but we want them to come in this room too. So I'm gonna put the brownies right here and the ghouls can come and snack on those. Um, but Bone Hilda's in a fucking fire right now. Bone Hilda, do your motherfucking thing. And okay, I was kind of hoping you could put it out. Okay, thank you very much. Extinguish, because we we can't have the fire department here. No, we don't want the government to know that we're doing this challenge here out in these parts. All right, all right. So let's replace the stove for thirteen billion dollars, basically. All right, so the ghouls are enjoying their brownies, which is good. Look at them just sitting together in silence. Oh my god, guys. Can you guys believe that one of these ghouls are going to die and one of them are going to survive, be the final ghoul for this this whole thing? Like, can you guys even believe it? Oh my god. Oh, they fought so hard to get where they are now. I mean, rest in peace to fucking well we can remove von hilda's grave now we can like move her grave uh, where can we move her grave do we even need her grave we'll like put it all the way over here or something <laughs> we'll put it over there just in case but <sighs> rest in peace to laguna and abby and claudine and frankie and draculaura rest in peace to all of them they all did their very best and now we're down to the final two contestants who really deserve their spots and deserve to be here and look at them just fighting it out before one of them brutally dies tonight <sighs> it's getting down to it i'm like i almost like don't even just, just want to put it all off you know just want to put it all off but Oh, I actually, I need to delete the, f I think, okay, let's, let's, I still haven't fact checked, but let's see if this is actually called a foos table. Foosball. Yes, it is foosball. Okay, I didn't know the last episode if it was 100% called that. I was like almost sure though. So I thought, you know what? It's the last episode of season one of the Hunger Games Monster High series. And you know what? I was thinking about making the ghouls do their last challenge, but I was like, you know what? No, we're going to have Bone Hilda tend the bar. We're going to have her tend the bar and the ghouls are going to be able to drink and, you know, just enjoy themselves. I want I want the ghouls to enjoy themselves. So, yes, Bone Hilda's going to tend the bar so the ghouls can go get drinks if they want. Um, they might not do it, but they can. And that's all that freaking matters is I'm giving them this opportunity. But also, you know what? We're just going to have like a little mini party. I know there's only like three of them, I guess, like including Bone Hilda. But we're going to have, can I put this on here? Oh, no, I can't put it on the bar. Okay, well, it's okay. 
I'm going to put a little speaker up here and, you know, we'll have it play some music and, um, all right, let's put on some, since it's Monster High, we're going to have them put on spooky music. Not feeling this song, but who doesn't I like spooky music? Bitch. Fine. Whatever. Alright, ghouls. You can go get drinks at the bar. <sighs> Alright, Cleo's gonna be nice and make a drink for Draculaura. I'm not Draculaura. Oh my god. Gulia. God. The last few episodes have just been crazy. I can't remember any of their names or anything. But yeah, Cleo, Cleo was like, you know what? We're, we're here. Here's a drink. Definitely not poison. <laughs> just kidding. It's not poison. I swear. It's not poison. <sighs> but yeah, have some music going. Have some brownies. Have some drinks. Just have a little party before it's time for the uh, death challenge. I mean, there's not really much else to do. Like with me not doing a final challenge for these ghouls and letting them. You know, kind of party a bit. I, um... We still have some time we can use. But... I don't know what other... Let's get some other things, too. Let's get some other activities for the ghouls to do. Just as a little final thing for them. Alright, so I decided that I want Cleo and Gulia to sing a country duet song you know have a little bit of fun maybe even dance a little in a bit but i just want them to have a good time and enjoy themselves before because there's just so there's only so much time left for one of these ghouls and i'm getting scared and i'm getting nervous okay so we're gonna oh i guess they, they don't want to sing together you ghouls don't want to sing together you ghouls don't want to sing together come on ghouls let's hear it Also, yes, I did put this in the graveyard section. I think the ghouls would enjoy that. I think Draculaura would be like, this is like us including Draculaura in our fun. Draculaura's just having a good time with them. I think so. Don't, don't, I'm not sinister. I'm not wicked and evil, okay? I just didn't have anywhere else to put this stuff, okay? And Draculaura likes it, okay? I can tell. She's like in hell right now cheering us on. So don't worry. All right, I think we need to start this already. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the ghouls, Cleo and Gulia, the final two contestants, sit in the middle of this maze. And whatever happens, happens. But this is where I'm going to put them. We'll see what they do from there. All right, guys, I have the game paused, but Cleo looks fucking angry as shit right now. So I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, she just, she's just, I don't know. And Golia's like, so, she looks upset. So, oh, these are the final two. Oh my God. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Cause I know I keep trying to avoid it. You know, I keep trying to avoid it all, but I think it needs to just happen. I don't know if I can let go guys. I just, oh, I don't know if I can. Cleo, for the first time in this competition, actually has a good relationship with a ghoul. And it's, you know what, we're gonna, it's, it's, it's Gulia. Gulia is the ghoul that Cleo actually has a good, positive relationship with for like the first time in this whole competition. And it's just sad. It's just sad that this is how it has to be. This is how it has to end. But who are you guys rooting for? Are you rooting for Cleo or are you rooting for Gulia? <sighs> Let's let them do this thing. All right, this is the fun. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Gulia's dead. Gulia's dead. Uh oh. Uh-oh, the Grim Reaper's pissed. Oh my god. <gasps> Is it gonna beat her up? Oh my god. 
He's following her. What's about to happen? He's gonna kill her himself. Oh, she's mopping the floor. This is what she's doing with her winnerness. Oh my god, he's pissed. Is he gonna beat her up? I told you this time my fingers hurt from tapping on the damn tablet. Oh my god. <gasps> Guys, Ghoulie's dead. Oh my god. I, I, I'm i like literally in shock right now. Like I can't even believe she's dead. Cleo. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic. Like, her... So just... Oh my god. I think a part of me is so in so much shock because I was rooting for Cleo. <laughs> I think that's a part of why I'm in such shock. I can't even believe. I can't fucking believe out of seven fucking ghouls, Cleo actually made it to the end. She is the winner. She's the survivor. She's the final girl. Can you guys fuck? She's the final ghoul. She's the final goal. Oh my god. Okay, we have to move Gulia's grave. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, let's actually move these ghouls, like, closer together in the grave. Oh my god. Can you guys fucking believe this? Oh my god. Cleo is our victor! She is the final girl. She takes the crown. She takes it all. She takes the money. She takes Bone Hilda. She takes everything. Bone Hilda is her servant. Oh my god. Guys. Guys. Did you guys see that? Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> you can't kill the Grim Reaper, Cleo. What did you, where were you? <gasps> oh my God. Cleo, not only, oh my God, she's gonna kill anyone who's in her path. She's gonna kill, I forgot to turn off kill, autonomous killing. Oh my God. Oh my god, it's okay though. She totally would kill Death himself after winning this. But let's turn off Autonomous Killing real quick. Alright, well let's unlock the reward house. Everyone can go in there if they want. And let's not have Cleo fucking kill Bone Hilda again, even though kill the dead kill the dead bitch again. Oh my god. <sighs> Cleo is the winner and she's taking full advantage. She said, bitch, I'm asleep. Bitch, I'm asleep. Oh my god, this is actually so fucking nuts. Oh my god, it could have been anyone. Anyone could have won, and Cleo, the bitch I was actually fucking rooting for. I almost feel guilty. I almost feel fucking guilty that she fucking won, because I wanted her to win, but I shouldn't feel guilty, because at the end of the day, we all know Cleo, I think she's probably, I think she's killed the most people in the competition, so it only makes sense. Also, yes, I did just put Grim Reaper's grave in the motherfucking graveyard. That's iconic. We're not going to let that pass us up. He's going to stay in there. But, yeah. Oh, my God. Holy shit, dude. Oh, my God. Look at Bone Hilda. She's totally haunting things now. She's like, yes. Oh, my God. This is absolutely insane. So, Cleo is the winner. She's the winner. She gets all the money. She gets Bone Hilda. And she gets to, you know... Maybe even watch amongst the next season contestants. You know, Cleo. Cleo won. She won and... Uh, I think she wants to go home. I really do. I do think Cleo wants to go home. This isn't home. This isn't home. Cleo wants to go home, take her money, take her ghost skeleton maid, and move on with her life because... Yes, Cleo had to kill a bunch of people and also just survive this long, but, and she probably did enjoy it to some degree, but also there's a bit of trauma there. For anyone, there would be a bit of trauma there. Watching all your friends die and then this, it's like survivor's guilt basically, but it's okay because she's gonna Go to therapy, ba bathe in her money, be served by the greatest maid of all time, and, you know, just live her life and <sighs> just 
But y'all know this bitch ain't. She ain't doing none of that. She ain't doing none of that. She, well, she is doing a bathing. She's bathing in her money. She's taking advantage of her maid and bitch. This bitch is going home. She's like, bitch, ha ha ha. You fucking bitches. I, I, you assholes. I won. All right, guys. Here's our winner. Cleo Denial. She won nine million dollars and gained her own personal maid, Bone Hilda. And Cleo's in her mansion right now. She's in her mansion. She bought her own little mansion away from her family. Now she has her own place to call home. And she's living her best life now. She's gotten intensive therapy, tons of money, her own personal maid, her own nice rich home, and now she's living the life. So, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching season one of The Hunger Games Monster High Edition. And look out for season two because it's coming. It's coming. And it'll be here before you even know it. So, look out for that. And thank you guys so, so much again for... 100 subs. I don't know if I mentioned that this episode or last episode. I think it was last episode. I'm not sure. But thank you guys so, so much for getting me to over 100 subs and <sighs> enjoying this series and, you know, seeing what happens with these ghouls with me and watching Cleo take the win. This is crazy. This is crazy. It was all crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys for being with me until the finale. And again, look out for the next season. And until then, I hope you guys have a great life. And to everyone being happy, including Cleo.